What is going on guys, today we are looking at Alvarez, the CDM for Mexico in Ajax, or Ajax in, in Mexico, I suppose, either way, he is the 89 storyline card and obviously he is the second one we are doing, we are looking at, is he worth it, I personally went with Javinko, this guy has actually gone with Alvarez for me, so obviously I can get this review out for you, 89 rated, Mexican, Obviously, he looks decent. Like in terms of um, in terms of CDMs, he's not awful. Like you look at the pace, it's good enough. Obviously, you whack a shadow on him, which we will do. I think Anchor is the one that Footbin's telling me to go with. It turns him into a 95 DM, which is fantastic from an 89. Obviously, it gives him 93 pace, 96 defending, and 97 physicals. We haven't got no traits, unfortunately, and he has come from a 76 common or his 81 man of the match. Obviously, his 81 man of the match has got a huge, huge upgrade from uh, f since this card has came out. And obviously, you can only pick one. You've got Javinko, Alvarez, or obviously Hamshik, so you kind of got to pick who fits your club, if you're actually going to use them, or is it just fodder? I feel like at this point, a lot of players will be fodder, just because 89 may not cut it. This guy definitely can fit into an Eredivisie A team, though. We will have a look at the overall and just kind of have a look and see, does he even make the DM role? Is there better center mids? Is there better cams, DMs? We'll have a look and see at that at the end. In terms of stats, it's pretty well. he's pretty well-rounded. Great pace. Shooting, obviously, we don't necessarily need. Great passing on him. Obviously, free kick's not amazing. Don't need to worry about that. Dribbling-wise, agility balance is good. Um, reactions, ball control, fantastic. Great composure. His defending and physical, both with the anchor, are absolutely mental. So let's jump into him and see what's he like as a defender. I think for me, he definitely could be in for a shot with a lot of people just because of, the, again, like Javinko, he's got a good league. I think, uh, obviously, Ed Vizier is that tiny bit better just because, obviously, we did get quite a few nice team of the seasons. And if you have done a lot of the SBCs like Flashback Robin, you obviously have a relatively decent one. And Anthony, in fact, he was a great team of the season we got. So there is quite a few decent players out there. Can we find that ball down there? Oh, Mbappe just manages to get it back. His passing does seem very, very nice. That's what we want to see from him. But in terms of kind of like his, his uh, league, I think that for me definitely beats the Saudi. But definitely the uh, nation, not quite as good what actually it has to offer. There probably is quite a few decent players that I completely forgot about. One of them, obviously, Lozano is absolutely cracked. And again, he feels very, very easy to get onto the ball. Obviously, in terms of uh, what else he can do, he's going to be very much defending orientated. He's not necessarily going to be your man in the middle as such. Ah, Saka's going to take that ball away from him. But he's not necessarily going to be your box to box, if anything. But definitely as a DM, as a solid DM as well, he's going to put in a big work. I can already see that from him. We see a bit of D. Oh, he's offside. That would have been a cracking ball as well. Oh. Yeah, he was offside. Just seems very easy to get on the ball, to be honest. He's just always in that right position. And definitely his passing is, is a huge asset to him. Can we see him in? Oh, I, I took the shot too early. I didn't think I was going to get that back, to be honest. And again, he's really pushing up the field. Good interception. Doesn't necessarily take the ball, but does enough to quell that attack. And again, you can see him just making that run in that middle. It's very nice to have that option, to be fair to him. And at the moment, he hasn't put a foot wrong as we get tackled by our own player. That could have been the second assist already. Alvarez watching Pogba, making sure that he goes away from him, gets the interception. That is exactly what you need from a DM. Don't need him to fully commit. Just make sure you make that tackle, and that's absolutely gravy. Oh, we've gone for a, a very, very risky ball then. I'd have been very surprised if he managed to make anything from that, seeing as though two defenders was in his direction. Oh, it's lovely. Just finds the opening. Great tackle again. Pogba is going nowhere. And that is the 95 Pogba as well. Good tackle again. Just taking the ball away from players. Softly playing it away. Obviously, I think in terms of uh, maybe a starter DM, 
it's going to be way behind the curve. We've had so many good DMs that I just don't think he's going to make it into a starting team anymore. But like I say, into oh damn, into maybe like something like a, a, a squad building team. And like I say, Eredivisie, Mexican, you've got more than enough capability for him there. We will obviously check in the overall what we've got to work with in terms of obviously in the Mexican team and obviously in the Eredivisie, see who else is there. As I'm pretty sure the Eredivisie... Wow, I'm sure the Eredivisie had a lot of decent players as well, a lot of good midfielders, so whether he makes it is going to be the next question, but so far so good with him, his passing has been on point, been on the attack constantly, that's kind of what I want from him is, is to kind of be able to do both roles, but not necessarily need him to be more of the scorer, somebody who's just going to lay the ball off to the strikers, add that extra number, but then as the DM, he's going to be absolutely phenomenal. Oh, look, oh, I thought we may have just been able to dink that over Lindelof. Alvarez finding a cracking ball back into our nine. That's a great save from Edison. Alvarez, oh, has he found Maradona in? I don't know why I passed it. I, I flinched and I passed it. I don't know why I just didn't shoot. It's Maradona, for Christ's sake. So going into the overall for Alvarez then. So... Alvarez, in fact. So we look at the head of his EA. Let's have a look. So we've got obviously a, a good amount of players, to be honest. A lot of good team of the seasons, a lot of good specials. Let's have a look at the DMs. So, okay, I thought he might be in there. So what's the stat difference? 88 pace, 90 defender, 90 physical. 291 pass and obviously has that over the top of him. And the shooting. So this guy, for me, would be more a bit of both i'd say obviously his defending has got to be his main key but his shooting just on a base just looking literally base here looks actually quite nice obviously alvarez 71 not really going to go forward too much but judging from that fur i suppose was an sbc but i think probably behind the curve by now and even classen not really there so for me dm most definitely in the air de vizier obviously you could link these two together in a 442 or obviously gertz who i think for me would play better on the wing just in, rather than a center mid that is as a cam yes please as a cm don't think he's got it in him obviously anthony's got himself a right wing team of the season which is fantastic then we look at mexico let's have a look so hugo sanchez Corona. I knew there was another one. So we have got Lozano, Corona, Hernandez, Sanchez. We've also got a Vela. We've got a Theo, um, a Javier Hernandez. We've also got Herrera and De Santos. So to be honest, that's actually not a bad little team going on there. So if we look at it, we've got right mid. You could whack him off chem, two strikers or even three strikers if you wanted. We've got Vela on the right as well. This is the problem. We have no left mid really other than Laners, who again, I think is probably off the pace by now. Um, De Santos, but as a squad builder, you can't really argue. You've got a nice attack. In terms of defense, I'm not really seeing anybody on the front page. So it is probably going to be just more of like a, an attack in Mexico team and then the defense is not necessarily going to be there let's just have a quick look see if we could do this okay yeah so oh of course we've obviously got the flashback silver um or no that's freeze in fact other than that we've not really got defenders in terms of goalkeeper we've got one in form 60,000 g's in forms are pricey so obviously in terms of that, we are looking more of an attacking slash midfield Mexico team. But I think Air Divisier definitely is where you want to be looking. In terms of previous, how old is he? 23 years old. This is his highest card by an absolute landslide. Since it's 81, he's gone up a plus 8, which as you can see on here, is a lovely upgrade. 13, 11, 13, 14, 9 and 8 upgrade in that order. Obviously, we went with the anchor. Again, you can see the class that it brings to the card. Absolutely fantastic. His passing was lovely. His positioning was very good. That's something I did notice. Always in that right position to get the ball and obviously does work well for it. Pace is pretty standard at this point. I think 90 and above is a lot of people's very good teams. Not every team, but a lot of good teams have pretty much every position on 90 plus pace or at least to say high 80s, like very, very high 80s, just because we have so many players with them now. But in terms of do I think he's better than getting Javinko? I think the main thing for me is these two are my ones. I think Hamshik for me, without playing with him, I think he's the third option. I think it all depends. A, do you need an Italian or Saudi player? 
do you need a Mexican or Edivisie? If you could happily take both, it then depends on if you need an attacking player or a defensive player. I think in terms of who's going to make the most noise in terms of what team they go into. So, for instance, an Italian Jovinko or obviously the Saudi SB, uh, the Ars Saudi squad builder compared to Mexico and um, Edivisie. I think Alvarez probably takes it in terms of which card fits him better. I think Jovinko is replaceable with Romarino and the other two strikers, whereas I think Alvarez, for me is probably the best DM in Eredivisie now. So for me, that's got to be the one I'd take. Um, obviously, looking back at it, I'm, probably this is why this person wanted to take Alvarez over Jovinko, but we've managed to get two of them out so far. Stay tuned for Hamshik. It could absolutely all blow over the water if he is good. But we will see. So make sure you like and subscribe down below. We're going to be bringing out Hamshik very, very shortly. So don't miss it. Bell button. Peace.